Welcome to The Knitting Bear if this is your first time viewing. Uh, welcome back to all those that are viewing and my subscribers and my commenters. I like reading all the stuff you leave down below. So um, if you like this video, please consider hitting the little thumbs up. Uh, definitely hit subscribe and uh, leave comments. I really appreciate um, your, uh, your input. Hello, beast. <laughs> It, when, I, when I moved from the other room into the sofa, um, I ended up with dogs. And he is just needy because I just got home from work. So, of course, you know, that means there's going to be beasts in this. Hi, you got to move. You got to move. You got to move. Yeah, you can sit right next to me, though. You can sit right next to me. Okay, sit down. Lay down. Lay down. There you go. So, um, welcome back. Um, I've got a lot of stuff to go through, with you, go through this week. Uh, it's because it's been a couple weeks. I've been doing a lot. Uh, first of all, I'm wearing my brand new Willy Nilly Knits sweatshirt. Um, really? You can't do that. No, no, no. That doesn't work. Yeah, Kong. He's ready to play. He's been home all alone, and Moose won't play with him. So it should be fun. It should be a fun half hour. Um, so, yeah, my brand new Willy Nilly Knits um, sweatshirt. Willy Nilly Knits. Um, he's a local knitter. I, we found, found each other on Instagram and then found out we both live within the same uh, city, part of Detroit. And um, he knits a lot of hats. He sells them um, from his shop and his wife uh, dyes yarn. They also do some other things. I think they roast coffee and stuff like that. So um, I got one of his sweatshirts and he and I are getting ready to do a hat together. I, I owe him um, some information on which hat I want to do. Hello, Moose. So um, here we go. Let's get into it. Uh, what have I been doing other than taking care of dogs and yard work? Um, I finished I'd like to say this is a surprise, but Mummy and Dadums, or at least Mom, watches my um, my podcast. Hi, yes, hi, yes, I know I see you. Yes, what can I help you with? Yeah. Oh boy. So I finished their blanket uh, for Christmas. So this is a gigantic blanket. So there's the blanket. Um, I did a a stitch in the middle, which is a uh, knit, yarn over, knit two together, so it kind of would feel like a, a crochet blanket. And then at the ends, I just did a simple um, knit stitch back and forth. And it's finally finished. It's about four feet by six feet, so um, it was nice um, knitting while I was doing it because it was chilly here in Michigan for a while. So that was nice. Um, definitely not a summer knit. Um, and I used uh, Bernat's uh, blanket yarn. And I, I may do another one. I, I'm not sure. It was just easy knitting because it's just big and quick and bulky. Um, plus all these... Oh boy. There's another one. I keep finding drop stitches. I don't know how I dropped so many stitches in that, but there that goes. And let's see what else. Oh, here, here, here. Um, a few weeks ago, I showed you these two yarns and said so I was thinking about making a hat with it. I was thinking about making a double-brimmed hat with it. And because I love this color combination, it's just two hot colors and they just really, they work for me. Um, and I love color. As you can see, I'm wearing a purple sweatshirt. So I started knitting it. Um, this was my ribbing and I just didn't like how it looked. Um, the more and more I do this, I go, oh, I don't like how this looks. And so I, what I decided to do, and because I love a good, um, bulky, super bulky yarn. I held them together, and I don't know if you can see that without it blowing it out. Um, I marled them, and it is, oh, let's see how we do. There, can you see that? Absolutely, I love it. I love it, I'm, gonna, I'm giving it to a friend. I just have to put a pom-pom on it. Um, so, um, I love this. And I use the Ross hat pattern as a jumping off point. Um, I use his um, patterns just because it gives me a jumping off point to kind of create as I go. Um, he usually does a knit, uh, pearl two, knit two, pearl two, knit three ribbing. But I did, because of how I cast it on, um, I did a pearl one, knit two. And I really like how it turned out. It really, really made a nice, uh, nice rib. Um, I just then decreased a nice crown. And I like this hat. 
it's going to be really warm. Um, my friend Maddie gets it, and I hope she likes it. I think she does. This is the color of her hair. It's kind of fun. Uh, let's see. I've got notes down here in front of me because I'm trying to be more organized with this. Um, mail call. I got, I got some stuff in the mail. Who doesn't like squishy mail? But it wasn't all squishy mail. Uh, first of all, and we're going to keep this out because I'm going to need your help with it. I got pom-poms. Um, who doesn't like pom-poms? And I've got all sorts of different ones. And I, I'm going to pull them all out so you can look at them. Um, and I got them from a company called Threadhead Knits from a person who never used Etsy before in his life to now. I now use Etsy every time I turn around. But I'm thinking that that is the pom-pom for this. What do you think? Is it that one? There's a smaller version. Should I use the smaller one? I'll put the thread behind it. Smaller one? Smaller? Small? Large. Which I think these are gorgeous. Or, nah, I was gonna say the hot pink, but the hot pink doesn't work with it. Anything else that works with it? I've got two black ones. I don't wanna put the black ones on there. Um, I'm really liking these colors here. But they're great, they're faux fur, all vegan. Um, they make them to order. They're all stuffed, they're really nice to come with little strings. So um, uh, I ordered some and Claire ordered some. Um, someday I'm gonna get Claire on this with me so you don't keep thinking she's a figment of my imagination because she is a real life person and she's fun and we have a lot of fun talking about knitting. So I like having these faux fur pom-poms. I think they add something. So I will, I'll put one on the hat, but I think, yeah, tell me, should it be the large one? Large? Should it be small? Small one. One of them. It has to be one of them. So that's what I did there. I've got pom-poms from uh, Threadhead Knits. I'm going to order more because I love these. And as many hats as I knit, um, it's kind of fun to use these. And they've got a lot of really cool colors. I barely scratched the surface. Um, Claire ordered some. Hang on, I'll show you what she got. Running away, running away. So Claire's a little more neutral than I am. But hers, oh my God, I've got places to use these too. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Huge, it's a six inch palm. And then there's this black and, or gray and white one. She just got plain ivory and then kind of like a beigey one. So those are her palms, not dogs. So that, and we'll have to figure out what goes on the marled hat. So help me out there. And then what else did I get? Oh, 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 the DPN case. I don't know about you, I have a, I've got all these DPNs because I do hats. I don't do socks, but I do hats. And I couldn't find a case I liked for DPNs. I wanted it to be small, uh, not over, not too big. It needed to not be overly flowerly. I mean, I like flowers and all, and I have flower prints and things I do, but I wanted it to be a little more neutral than that. And it had to let me organize them the way I wanted to. So I found this company on, um, on Etsy, Atelier de Soyun. And they make these cute little cases. They're just, they're not huge. They button. And then what it does, you see that? How it opens up and I can put like itty bitty little ones right here, up here in the front. And then I can, like I even got really tiny, tiny ones back here. That like that. Um, really big ones, here's my 11s. They all fit in here, I can organize them. I've got 12 million eights. And then it also, I put, just because some of them don't have sizes on it, it has room for my little gauge. And then also a spot for my, my little cable needles. So those all fit in here. Uh, keeps them very organized. Um, I may move the button because all of mine for this case are rather small. They're for, I don't like them huge when I'm doing hats. So I may move, the buttons here are meant mainly for more like eight inch or um, larger P, um, DPNs, but I have all small ones um, because they're just easier for me to maneuver. So I may move the buttons down, like one of the buttons down a little further, but I just like it, I like the texture. Kind of a cool thing. I will have links to all of these um, down below, like the yarn I used for this, which was Cascade uh, Baby Alpaca, and uh, the Bernat Blanket, all of it. I will have all of that stuff down below for you. 
Okay, DPN case. Oh, so, um, oh, here comes some squeakies. Uh, about a week and a half ago, maybe two weeks ago, I got a box of Joy in the mail from Lolo Did It. Um, I'd order a whole bunch of uh, one of a kinds and closeouts from them, from her, and came in. So um, while I was unboxing it, I thought I would show you what I got in it. So um, I'm gonna insert right here the video of me unboxing and let me know what you think. Um, there's gonna be a lot of super bulky yarns in there. So let me know what you think um, you would do with all the super bulky yarn. The yarns are really great. And then also um, with one of them, and I'm not sure which one I'll have to figure it out while I watch the video, I made a um, rolled brim hat. So I'll insert a picture of that right after or somewhere in, in the uh, video someplace. So you'll see what the hat was. I took a picture of it before I gave it away. It's the problem. I, I do these videos like every other week and I make things and then they um, get given away before I get to film them. So like Maddie's like, when do I get my hat? I said, you don't get it till after I do the video. So she doesn't get it till then. Um, but I am going to, I think, as I bounce all over the place, I do think what I'm going to do is order more of this Cascade Alpaca because I love how it knits up and I love the colors it comes in. And I think it makes a really nice hat. And for Michigan winters, this is going to be a nice warm hat. So enjoy the Lolo Did It unboxing. Okay there, you probably noticed a switch. Uh, that's because this is happening on a different day. I just got home from work and yay, a box of joy, actually two boxes of joy because a cognac, yes, I'm that person, a cognac that I've been looking for. I used to drink probably 10 years ago. I couldn't find it, couldn't find it, couldn't find it. Found it online this week and that bottle came and I opened it. And then there's another box. Oh, I have a feeling this is some squishy goodness. I love squishy mail. Um, Lolo did it, one of my hand dyers. Um, she's in Las Vegas and um, having a closeout on one of a kind and bulkies. Bulkies and worsted and I keep looking for hand dyed, uh, bulky, chunky, that kind of stuff. Uh, my friend Monica is doing some for me, uh, some Aaron Waite from Up North Yarns, and Ted from Ted Knits UK is doing some bulky for me, but then I got this box, and I thought, well, you know what? Why not look at it with you? So here we go. Here we go. This is the first time. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, let's see what we got. This is low biggity. Some low, low. And the lighting is horrible tonight. Let's see if I can get it better over here. If you can see, I don't know, who knows. So some low, low. This has got blacks and reds and stuff. And this is a one of a kind, ven Veneno. So, oh, let's see if I can, I'm not, I, well, we may open some of these. We'll see what we got. We got a big old box of stuff. This is first wife. I don't have a wife, but look at that. There, there you got that color. Mmm. This is, Low biggity also. What's this here? This is some simple worsted. This is called Baba Verde. One of a kind. Look at that. That is, as Monica would say, in my wheelhouse. Oh, we've got some lichen. Is this lichen also? It is. This is, this is simple worsted. Really pretty. Look at the colors in this. I'm going to keep getting up and getting down, standing up, standing, sitting down, so you can see the colors. Um, when we get through, we'll, we'll see what I decide to open, but, ooh, more worsted. Trinky, tricky, 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 tan, tan. doesn't help that, like, my sofa is away from the camera so I can get all this in. So, you're getting me in a little, well, everyone likes to get uh, a knitting bear on his knees, and here you go, you got me on my knees. Um, simple DK. Um, this is Luna Azul. Luna Azul, Luna Azul. But look at that. Can you see that color? <clears throat> color um, is what inspires me. Rarely does a pattern, sometimes a pattern does, but not often, but color. When I see color, then I start looking for ways to use it. It's going to show off that yarn the most. But look at these colors. Yum, yum, yum. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
I'm digging down to the bottom where I... Oh, 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 oh. this is more... I think this is low biggity, and this skein's coming apart, so guess who gets to see it open? The, the Fiery Cross. Look at that. Oranges and aquas and teals. Um, I'm going to open this one because it's already opening, so we might as well just open that skein up and see what it is, right? I know you want to know. I don't know if you want to know, but I do. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Now, if this doesn't look like my house, <laughs> every color behind me is this color between the teal and the orange, but look at that. There's some chunky wonky in there. So, hey, man, <laughs> the double-rimmed hat that I'm working on may get a, a redo because this is just... Hi, hi, pups. This is tasty stuff. So there's that. Put that back together. Probably better put the band on because I don't know about you, but I'll probably forget what the hell it is. And then what am I going to do? Got two other ones, so... Okay, there's that. Ooh! Ooh! This is... Look at this. This is simply worsted. Look at that. Look at those colors. I wish... I should have done this, like, earlier in the day when the light was out, but I just got home from work and I thought, well, hey, why not record this real quick and add it to my next video because it's not often, well it is with me, it's always often, that I get a big old box of yarn, Conf confite, confetti, I bet, um, oak, simple DK. That is yummy yum, two of those. So, very happy bear. Uh, and this is, oh look at that, more pretty pretty have to sort it out and find places to put it because uh, the yarn room is getting discombobulated to be turned into a craft room. So there you go, kids. Let's see if I can open a couple of these for you. Let's open. Ooh, look at this one. Well, hi, Moose. Are you going to help? The dogs are going to help. Y'all want to help? Thank you. Yep, yeah, this is the yarn. Yep. Yep, yarn. Hi, Bubba. His name's Bubba Duke. When he's being cute, he's bubble. When he's when he when he needs to listen, he's Duke. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we got. Oof. Can you see that? To the, the yellow. I hope this color is coming through well. How many podcasters do you know that say the exact same thing? Hope this color is coming through though, because you know, I should have moved the lamps around. But hey, c'est la vie. Hope you enjoyed this little unboxing. Um, I did because I'm just. I'm a gog, and plus I got yarn and co How better of a day can it be when you come home to yarn and booze? That's it. And welcome back. There you go. It's like I almost never went away. Um, so, again, any suggestions on what to do with all those super bulky yarns down there? Hey, dogs. Hi. Hey, you can't squeak toys right now. Yeah, you can't squeak. Well, I'm going to let them squeak because it keeps them entertained. Hopefully you don't mind it. If you do mind it, I'm going to mind it. Hey, give me the ball. He's not going to be happy. I've got two of his squeaky balls. So, the next thing. Um, I think my hands are feeling good enough that I'm going to be able to start working on my F2020, FU2020 uh, washcloths. Again, because I have friends asking, when do I get my washcloth? When do I get my washcloth? And this is about all the further I got before I um, had the uh, dog accident and couldn't knit anything this small before, again. So I've got the yarn. It is uh, sugar and cream. This comes from everywhere. Um, it's, it's good. The colors are great. The price was good. Um, I think it'll make great dishcloths. So there's that. And then Amy from... Um, Amy from... <laughs> Oh, Amy, I can't remember where you're from right now because it's it's been a long day at work and I just finished work. Um, <laughs> oh, I'll come up with it. Sorry, Amy. You and I talk all day and then I can't remember what your website is. Uh, hang on, we'll do it this way. Well, never mind. So um, she and I are making sweaters to, that we're going to wear to meet each other next fall at... Um, Rhinebrook, Rhine, Rhine, Rhine something or another. That's what happens after a long day at work when my brain is just, Rhine back. Thank you. Brain. <laughs> I have dogs playing. I don't know what I can do about it. So, um, 
I ordered a, I saw a pattern uh, from Lana Grossa, um, and I don't do, I mean, this is my very first sweater I'm going to do, and I wanted to do it in pieces, and, so it wouldn't seem overwhelming, so I could knit a piece and do it, and knit a piece and do it. And I wanted to do a cardigan because I love to wear cardigans. So, uh, Lana Grossa had a pattern, found a pattern, loved it. It was a, um, a cardigan with a hood. And I thought, that this is great. I, perfect for me. I love it. And so, the yarn that they suggested, which was Cool Air, was on sale um, and close out. So, I said, wow, that's great because it's a bulky yarn. It's going to knit up fast. I'll be able to do it great. So... Do you hear them stampeding? I knit up my, my swatch. What I don't like, it's, I don't know if you can see, can you, there, you can see the light through it. It is very, I don't like how the fabric is coming up. And because this has, um, it's 33% alpaca, 55% merino wool, but there's polymede in here. Hang on. And polymede has been blown and it's just a really, lofty fiber. The problem I find is when I'm knitting, when you look at it, it's really nice. It's kind of fluffy and bulky, but when you put any tension on it, bulk goes away and from bulky you go down to maybe a light worsted. So you get this really funky fabric and I don't like, I don't know if you can see that, the stitch definition is really not what I was hoping it would be. And I bought a, yarn, a sweater quantity of this yarn. So I've got to figure out what I'm going to do. Um, Claire has started knitting her version. She was going to knit one with me. And I'm still, I'm still kind of confused about, not confused, but just concerned. Do I want to spend all this time knitting a cardigan, my very first sweater, with a yarn I'm not really sure I like, a color I like, um, stitch definition I don't like, and a fabric that just is a little... I don't know, lightweight. I may try, I, I might cast on one of the panels, the back, and see what happens. Um, I saw what Claire did and the ribbing was, eh, she wasn't particularly happy with it. I thought I didn't like the stitch definition. Hi, Moose, yes, thank you. So we're gonna see what, what we're gonna do with it. I'm not sure yet. Um, so if you have any ideas, I really don't feel like translating the pattern um, to get a different gauge because this swatch is to gauge. Um, I knitted it, I knit to gauge, which was surprising to me because I'm usually a very tight knitter. I am a tight knitter, so I went up a, a needle size. Um, but I don't know what to do. Um, do I change the gauge? What do I do? Um, suggestions below, please help. I mean, this is a two way street. I talk to you. You put suggestions and comments down below so we can actually have a conversation, and I appreciate it. So there's the Lana Grossa. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Now, let's see here. Oh, we've got a UFO. Um, that, um, that UFO KAL, knit along, ended on the 31st, and I got, let's see, how many do we get in here? We have got six people that put um, their... Um, their um, items in here. There's some great things. Absolutely great. They're on the Ravelry site. Um, so if you go on to Ravelry and look up uh, Knitting Bear Podcast, you can see some of the uh, the UFO contest, some of the really cool things that were, were added here. And I'm, I'm really impressed with all of you. Um, I didn't get mine done because I broke my hand. Well, they didn't really break my hand, but I couldn't knit that sweater. But this was actually a UFO because I found it and I had, um, I'd started it last, well, in January. I only done three rows, so I finished, I did finish a UFO. Woohoo! Finished something, which is something I don't often do. Well, hats. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to, we've got six contestants. So, okay, Google, give me a random number between one and six. One. <laughs> Thank you, Google. So let's see, the first person, the first one on here was Adrian R. Um, she submitted three different projects. Um, so 
Uh, Adrian, I will get a hold of you um, through Ravelry. Um, if you happen to be watching this, um, please comment so I, we can connect each other because here we go. You know what? I got three. Okay. Okay, Google. Give me a number between two and six. Here's a random number. Three. Three. Okay. So number three was, let's see, one, two, was Cat Pearl. So I've got three of them here. I'm going to keep one of them. So first prize gets to pick which one of these three Ted Knits um, sock sets they want. Um, this is the Whiskey in the Jar sock set. Sock set. Or the Rhapsody sock set. Or the Koi sock set. Sock set. Um, and these are all from Ted Knits UK. Um, he's in the United Kingdom, and he makes some beautiful yarn. If you haven't seen his yarn before, um, go check it out by all means. So uh, when I get a hold of you, you can uh, first person uh, can choose which one of these three, and the second person gets one of the remaining two. So that's what we've done for the UFO. So we've given away that. Put those over there. I'll set them aside. Next, I want another KAL. I'd love to do a knit along with you guys. Um, but I'd like a suggestion on what you think we should do. Um, do we do hats? Do we do shawls? Um, do we do something with uh, something that's outside your comfort zone? Like um, if you usually knit neutrals, you need something in a bright color. If you normally knit, that's a good idea. Normally knit in bright colors, you knit something in neutral. Um, do you try a brand new pattern? What do we want our K-A-L to be our knit along to be? So um, again, put some suggestions down below. Um, with what you would like to see the knit along. And then on the next uh, vlog, I will go ahead and we'll, we'll announce what our next knit along will be. Um, it'll be fun because I enjoy knitting along with you guys. So that's it for this week. Um, I'm glad that I was able to show you all these things. I'm glad you're watching. Thank you very much. It means a lot to me that um, you watch. It means a lot that you like and it means even more when you comment because I like the dialogue because I look at this as a community. Um, because in this time, we don't get to get out and go knitting the way we used to, or I never did, actually. I didn't get to go knit at a, uh, with a local group or a knitting circle or something like that, because by the time I was knitting, we went to lockdown, and we're getting, it looks like we're getting ready to do it again. So, uh, thank you. I appreciate you watching. Uh, please like, please subscribe, and until next time, keep up the joy and keep up the knitting, and I will see you soon. Bye. -bye.